All right, so now we have the shell that we're going to work with. Um, I want to... Um, well, I don't know what stuff we could do next. I guess we could... Uh, let's go into a reactor. I will um, open my layers here. And I'll duplicate this shell call it shell oh. shell shell reactor zero one and I will hide this one oh no I won't not just yet um, with your new shell, Shell Reactor 01, um, underscore 01, um, with that selected, let's create a new layer, and we'll call it Reactor, and now we can hide that, this remains... We can get started. Also, it's important to not only name your your stuff, your layers, and keep track of everything. Um, be sure to save. So let's go ahead and save now. Um, falling shells. I'm just gonna call it a falling shells. Falling shells, uh, save zero zero one. Alright, now that it's saved, and we're make sure our reactor layer is checked here. Let's create a plane, um, one to one segment. Excuse me. Um, we do 10,000 by 10,000 so that's one of those instances where it really burns your eyes and you just get really upset it's very upsetting to have something like that um, I'm going to just click on the smooth plus highlights and go into hidden line so I don't have to be burned And we can bring up our reactor here, or you can just use your side panel here. I usually use this. Uh, with both of these selected, we can uh, get the rigid body bastard on out in the scene. And automatically, if you have both of those selected, when you bring out the rigid body, the rigid body will already put it inside there. Um... So that's that. And now we can do a little bit of um, tweaking, I guess. You click on your show. And what makes Reactor so hard to teach? Like, you can teach the basics, but you really have to experiment for yourself to see what works for your scene. Um, for example, if I bring up my, what is this called? Uh, a property editor. With the shell selected, the mass will make, I don't know, one friction, elasticity. We'll leave everything the same. Uh, bounding sphere, no. We'll make it a... Uh, we'll leave it a con convex hull. We want to make sure that the ground plane is a concave mesh at zero mass and technically we could do a quick sim now just, just to see or get our bearings about us um, also I'm gonna turn on my angle snap and I'm gonna change this to local and I'm gonna start previewing this Reactor 
Uh, preview. What I want to do is I want to set my sub steps. I thought they usually come default at 10. I usually end up setting it to 100. This one's already set to 100. Havoc World, you want to set your collision tolerance to 0.1. And that's another advantage of the PhysX, um, physics renderer solver. Is that you can get a lot lower with that. Like You can set it to 0.001. Uh, reactor's not having that. And I think I have everything. I just, it's fairly simple to set up. It's just, well, we'll get a preview of window. See, what is the problem here? See, the tolerance is even low for that. Well, that's irritating. Point five. So, welcome to Reactor the Window. Um, hit P to play. And see how it just got stuck on that angle there. Reactor can do that. While it's still playing, you'll know if it's playing because your numbers will keep going down here. You can middle mouse click on it, oh, right uh, right click on it, and pick it up, move it, manipulate it, whatever you want to do. Um, right away, I'm noticing that it's not, it doesn't quite have the bounce, maybe. Um, we can exit out of this. And we won't know if it has the bounce till we get it up a little bit higher. So let's get a little higher. Um, once I implement React, I usually save again because React can be a little buggy. So let's um, preview again. Hit P on your keyboard. Yeah, see, it doesn't nearly have the bounce we need, right? But before I go ahead and jack that bounce up, I want to make sure that this is laying at a good angle. So E is the shortcut for rotate. So I want it to hit and bounce and roll, especially if there's going to be others above it so they can all react with one another. Pretty awesome stuff. So let's, um, again, we'll preview it. Yeah, that's, that doesn't have anything. Close that. Make sure that's still selected, and we'll change the elasticity to, let's say, 0.8. And you might get a warning for something like this. Uh, you didn't. Sometimes when you jack up these numbers, they'll say um, something along the lines of it's not real world possible or blah, blah, blah. You're going beyond the limits of... Beyond the limits of what would be realistic things like that and uh, okay also we can reset the simulation that's a little bit better of a bounce maybe what we'll do is I'm sorry I'm moving that to my right screen because I can't stand looking at it <laughs> 